rights. Everyone has to fulfill their needs and desires within the society. It is a prime duty of the state to fulfill the needs of individuals and to provide opportunities for their development. In order to live happy and ideal life, individuals keep certain demands towards the state. When these demands are approved and authorized by the state, they take the form of rights. Right are those demands which are recognized by the society and implemented by the state. Today, every country, through its constitution, grant to their citizens certain rights which aims at their all-round development, but granting these rights was not easy and straight process. The concept was put forward in England that every individual received certain rights which are inborn and which cannot be political authority. Categories of Rights Rights can be divided into moral and legal rights. Moral rights are those which are based on the moral rule of society. Legal rights are those which are approved and implemented by the state or authority. Legal rights are categorized as social, political and economic. Now let's see each of these rights one by one. Social rights. Those rights which are necessary for the individual to live a cultured life are called as social rights. For example, right to live, right to property, right to education, right to family and so on. Political rights. Those rights which are given to citizens to help strengthen the process of governance are called political rights. For example, right to vote, right to contest elections, right to criticize and so on. Economic rights. Those rights which protect the economic interest of individuals are called economic rights. For example, right to earn minimum wages and equal pay for equal work. Democracy is a form of government that ensures maximum rights to citizens. The failure and success of democracy depends upon how many rights are given to the individuals. Every individual needs certain rights that are guaranteed by the democratic state to live a life according to his own wish, develop virtues, maintain dignity, ensure an opportunity for the development and participate in the political process. Rights of the individual can control the dictatorial tendency of the state. Protection of values like liberty, equality, fraternity and justice is possible through rights. Human Rights Declaration United Nations adopted and accepted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights on 10th December 1948. United Nations appeal to all countries to accept and adopt this Universal Declaration which is intended to ensure civil, economic, social, political and cultural rights for the welfare of entire human civilization. According to this declaration, every human being is free and equal by birth. Every human being has right to liberty, life, property, as well as right to express opinion and individual security. Nobody has right to violate human rights or encroach these rights of other human beings. Government of every country must protect and respect human rights. Every year, 
The 10th of December is celebrated as World's Human Rights Day to promote awareness of human rights. Now, let's learn more about the fundamental rights of citizens. Fundamental Rights Those rights which are granted to the citizens by the Constitution for attaining ideal life are known as the fundamental rights. Indian Constitution guarantees fundamental rights to its citizens. These are mentioned in the Part 3 of the Constitution as follows. Right to Equality Equality is the base of democracy. Indian Constitution has given right to equality to all its citizens. The main aim of this right is to remove social inequality and to establish social equality in the society. Right to equality ensures equality before law and everyone gets equal protection from law. This implies that everybody is equal before law irrespective of caste, sex, religion and status. However, in exceptional cases, the government can discriminate such law in the interest of society. For example, the government can give concessions to women and senior citizens in income tax. Every citizen of India can have access to any public places such as cinema halls, hotels, shops, streets and so on. Irrespective of religion, race, caste, sex and language. But every citizen has been given an opportunity in the government services and public sectors based on his or her capabilities and eligibilities. Law has removed the custom of untouchability, the breach of which leads to rigorous punishment. During the British rule in India, the British government give followed a tradition of privileges and concessions in the form of titles such as Rao Sahib, Rao Bahadur, Diwan Sahib and Khan Bahadur. This created artificial discrimination among the people. Today, the Indian government has abolished such a tradition of titles and privileges. However, to appreciate the achievements of individuals and to make it inspirational for others, the government of India gives certain awards, rewards or titles to its citizens. Some of these awards are Bharat Ratna, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan, Paramvir Chakra and so on. Such titles do not give any privileges to the recipients. Now that we have understood the right to equality, let's delve into the right to liberty. Right to liberty. Individual liberty is considered as the soul of democracy. Liberty is essential for the overall development of an individual. But liberty does not imply license or unrestricted freedom. While using right to liberty, every individual must take into account peace, order, public health and national interest. For this, government is authorized to impose certain restrictions. Indian Constitution has given following rights under right to liberty as follows. 1. Right to freedom of speech and expression. 2. Right to assemble peacefully and without arms. 3. Right to form association or unions. 4. Right to move freely throughout the territory of India. 5. Right to reside and settle in any part of the territory India. 6. 
right to practice any profession or to carry any occupation, trade or business. In addition to these six rights, right to education is included in the fundamental rights in 2009. According to the right to education, children between age of 6 to 14 are entitled to free and compulsory education. To give a clear meaning to these rights, provisions are also included in the Constitution. These provisions guarantee individual liberty. Right against exploitation Since ancient times, in India there was prevalence of slavery, manual labor, Devdasi custom as well as exploitation of weaker section. People under these categories were given low returns against their work. To prevent such exploitation, the Indian government passed a law and gave the right against exploitation to the weaker sections of the society. Likewise, there is a provision that prohibits the children below 14 years to work at mines, industries and other hazardous places. Right against exploitation ensures life with dignity to such weaker sections. It also helps to abolish the tradition of slavery, devdasi and exploitation of weaker sections. Educational and Cultural Rights India is known as a country having unity in diversity. People belonging to different religion, language, culture and caste live together. People living in different parts of the country have different festivals and different cultural traditions also. Everybody wants to preserve and maintain their language, script and cultural tradition. With the help of this right, people can preserve and sustain their language, culture and script. For this reason, citizens have the right to establish independent educational institutions. These institutions are entitled to financial aid by the government like other government-aided institutions. This right ensures security and safety to the minority. Right to Constitutional Remedy Constitutional guarantee of the rights is not the only sufficient condition, but there must be some provisions that will ensure the protection of these rights, without which rights cannot have any meaning itself. The fundamental rights which are given to the Indian citizens should not be violated or encroached upon by government or any individual. Right to constitutional remedy guarantees complete protection to the fundamental rights of citizens. In case of violation, a citizen can approach to the court of law under this right. The right to constitutional remedy also prohibits or restricts the action of government to reduce the rights of citizen without any reason. Now that we have seen the different rights of citizens, let's move towards the fundamental duties. Fundamental duties As a part of society, every individual receives some rights. Every individual, while enjoying his or her rights, must ensure that he or she is not encroaching upon the rights of others. So, for the welfare of the society, individual has to discharge certain duties. Both rights and duties are complementary to each other. To make individuals aware about their duties, the Indian Constitution has enshrined following fundamental duties. 1. To respect Constitution, National Flag and National Anthem. 2. 
to respect and protect the integrity and sovereignty of the nation. 3. To preserve and respect the ideals of India's freedom movement. 4. To protect the nation and always prepare for the service of the nation. 5. To create the feeling of universal brotherhood based on religionless and classless system and to remove customs which are harmful for the dignity of women. 6. To preserve our diverse culture and admirable tradition of our country. 7. To show kindness towards animal beings as well as to protect rivers, forests, trees, wildlife and to protect our environment. 8. To promote scientific, humanist approach and curiosity among the people. 9. To protect public property and to keep away ourselves from the violence. 10. To give social and individual priority which will help the country to reach its highest development. 11. It is a duty of parents or guardian to give education to their child between the age of 6 to 14. For the interest of the society, every individual must try to prevent domestic violence. It is found that women are often soft targets in the domestic violence. Today, female feticide is prevalent in the society, which has resulted in the decline of girl population. It is the duty of every individual to respect women and to provide them an opportunity of education. Though it is right of the citizens to walk by street, to follow rules and regulation of traffic is the duty of citizens. For the vested national interest, we must save petrol, water and natural resources. Today, inadequate electricity becomes major problem which resulted in the compulsory load shedding in many places. So, Every citizen must limit and control the unnecessary use of electricity at home and public places. For example, it is our duty to switch off the fan and lights in the school when they are unnecessarily on.